What is going on everybody? It's Larry back with you. Miles is at my side. Today I want to talk to you guys about, as you can tell from the title of the video, a sound bar. Uh, this is particularly a sound bar with a subwoofer. Now, before uh, this company reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to take a look at their sound bar, uh, I had a single sound bar, worked pretty well, but uh, you didn't really have much bass or anything like that. So when they reached out and I said, hey, do you want to review one? And it actually has a subwoofer. I'm like, yeah, let me see what I'm missing here. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised. So let's jump right into it. So the name of the sound bar, the company is Fianu, P-H-E-A-N-O-O. -O. And this is the P27. So um, let's start with the packaging for this was phenomenal. Uh, it comes with, and I've seen these type before where it's like the packaging is along with the sound bar and then you can see like the spot for the um, subwoofer. But when I pulled everything out, what I really, really liked about it is it came with all the cables that you need. So you can hook this up via HDMI or optical and it came with both of those. It came with the remote and the connection cable to connect to the subwoofer. So, but like I said, the biggest thing for me was that it had the optical cable. Now, the other soundbar that I used also used optical, so it was not a big deal for me, but I've been in those situations before where you break out a new product and you're like, yes, and then you don't have the cable that you need and then you're running to the store or you're looking up on Amazon and it's gonna take you a few days. So I appreciate that they have everything pre-packaged. Packaging was really clean and neat. Accessory box had everything separated in there. Just a really good unboxing experience. I didn't film that so you're not gonna see it but just trust me when I tell you. Very good unboxing experience. So we've been using this probably, I think I've had it hooked up for about two weeks now. You can definitely tell a difference with the bass um, the bass is definitely something that we were lacking in the last soundbar that we had. So just a few things about the components. The subwoofer is 60 watts, 110 dB max. It has 10 levels and uh, 10 levels of bass really. And it's a 5.25 inch driver. Now the 10 levels of bass is basically you can go to negative five to plus five. They have the same thing for the treble. You can go negative five to plus five. And then now the soundbar, has 60 watts, it's 34 inches long. So I like the way the remote's set up on it. It's very easily laid out. Uh, along the bottom you got the treble and the bass and in the middle of it you have 3D surround sound so you can hit the 3D button and get right into your surround sound. Then above that you have three different modes that you can quickly choose from. You have music, news, and a movie. So obviously news is gonna give you more um, uh, voice-centric sound. Uh, music is obviously going to be a well-rounded and then movie is going to be more uh, I think you're going to get some of that bass and things like that in there uh, Then you have the volume up and down you have some pause you can use this remote for a few different things You can pay you have a pair button input There's a few different inputs which we'll talk about in a second then a mute button obviously and a power button There was one cable that I forgot that they actually include which is sort of surprising but they have an aux cable um, so there's different modes on there, different ways to connect. You can do Bluetooth 5.0, uh, you have the HDMI arc, like I mentioned before, it comes with the HDMI and you can connect that arc. Now I use that with the, the TV and then I switched to optical. I tried both of them, both of them work really well, at least with the TV that I have. Like I said, the optical and then you have auxiliary. Then on the side, on the right side, there's actual manual buttons. So if you don't have the remote and you want to get up, you know, and actually mess with it yourself, um, there is on the side, there's the power and then a plus minus, so you're gonna get volume and power on. But on that same right side, you have a USB as well, so you could plug in a USB drive and actually listen to music that way as well. So a lot of different options with it. Um, one thing that I have noticed is if you have it like on movie, you're gonna get a lot more of the bass um, and lows. Even if you bring down the bass and have the treble all the way up, I have mine right now at treble at five, which is max, and then I have the bass like negative two, I believe, and you still, I mean, it sounds good, but you gotta get to a high enough volume to where the lows aren't sort of overtaking it. So that's something to think about. 
but again, I don't think I mentioned it, but this is like $130 on Amazon. So I'll leave a link for it down below. You guys can check it out for yourself. But in the two weeks that we've been testing it, it sounds really good. And everybody's really enjoyed like having the base, especially when we're watching things like tonight, we were actually watching Wonder Woman with my daughter and the fight scenes and the different things like that with the subwoofer bring everything to another level that we've been missing out with the other uh, sound bar that we've been using. One thing that I have noticed, and I have this issue on my other sound bar as well, but I'll point it out just in case, because I get this, I would want to know this if I was going to purchase it. There is no way to adjust in the settings. Now I've used some sound bars, higher end ones, um, sound bars and surround sound systems where you can adjust uh, the delay between the lip movement on the screen and what's coming out of either the center channel of a surround sound or the sound bar. This, as far as I've been able to find, I cannot find it in uh, any of the settings or anything. So there is a slight delay. It's not enough to where I think the normal person, like nobody in the house has noticed it and said, hey, this looks a little funky, but I notice it. So if you're more of an enthusiast or somebody that's really gonna pay attention to that, you're gonna notice it. I have the sound bar directly um, on the TV, not on it essentially, but right in front of where the base is. Um, so it's as close as it can be. So that's where you usually, if you have it farther away, you're gonna get some issues or whatever. That, that's what I've had in the past. But this one, there is a slight delay. And like I said, most people aren't gonna notice it. It's not that big of a deal, but I would wanna know, so I'm letting you know. So overall, let's just give it like a quick rundown. Sound quality is really good. Uh, make sure you check your settings. Like I said, you know, you have those different options. So choose the one that works best for you. Um, I think I'm going to probably lean towards using the news one and then sort of adjust my treble and bass from there. Um, and then if I'm watching something and it's not late, I'll put it on movie and sort of raise my volume up more and you, you get a really nice immersive sound. The 3D um, surround sound works really well. I usually don't use that. I'm not a big fan of the virtual surround sound myself. I'd rather just have the sound coming out of the sound bar right at the TV. I'm good with that. So it works really well. Um, the other thing that I've had, uh, I did have an issue with is on some of the re universal remotes that I've been using, I have a few that I've been testing out. Uh, some of them have not been able to find this brand. So that could be an issue. This isn't a very heavily popular brand, I guess. So I guess some uh, manufacturers don't bake it in. I think that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'll leave a link for it down in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Like I said, right now, I think it's around $130 on Amazon. So like, even if you don't wanna use it for your main setup to have this in your bedroom or the kids room or like a toy room or a game room or something, I think this is a no brainer for 130 bucks. That's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Like it if you liked it. Sub down below if you have not subbed yet and I will talk to you guys in the next one.